we've already looked at how to create our class, and we've looked at our little bit more information about our constructor and how we call those constructors. Now let's look at how we're going to use the objects that we've created. So an object is an instance of a class. If you think of a class as like a blueprint, the object is what's created from that blueprint. A blueprint doesn't do anything for us other than say what it's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to do. The object actually allows us to interact with and do things. So let's take a quick look, for example. In our case, we can say C out, and we're going to use our object C1. Now, to do so, we're going to print out a little label here. The area of a circle with a radius of, and we can get the radius from our object. So if I say c1.radius, notice that Visual Studio is smart enough to know what is publicly accessible and help me type that. Is Since we're calling a method, we have to specify the object we're referencing, c1 in this case, dot, and then the method name with the parentheses. Notice with radius, because it is a property and not a method, it does not get the parentheses. I can duplicate this line, just changing C1 for C2. Now if I run this file, I can see where C1, where I specified a radius, and I get the area. C2, where I use the no arg constructor, and use the default radius as 3.5, and has a smaller but still accurate area defined for it. There's other things I can do. So for example, I can take c2.radius, the radius of our object called c2, and assign it a new value. For example, 1.75. Now, now if I copy and paste the output in and run it again, you'll notice that even though I'm dealing with c2, for both my second and third lines. It updated the radius, I see that reference and what is shown, and I get a different area based upon the change in my radius. Anything that's public, I can call as a method, and it will execute, or if it's a property, I can both read and write it. So this is real simple how this type of application would work using classes.